Yo, this your boy Double Up and I'm back with another <clears throat> banger And today, I came in to get into that boy Brick Baby, you know what I'm saying I guess he went and sat down with Lil Woody Or, you know, he met up with Lil Woody And Mr. Wack 100 had something to say But before we start this video, I need you to like, comment, and subscribe Now, let's get right into this content We're back with another episode of a white gay man hanging out with your old ass. Man, now you claim to be gay? I figured I would get there before you got there. I'm never going to get there. I meant just calling me gay, not like being gay. Weirdo. So you call yourself gay, but you're not gay. Don't put your hand you're in front of the mic. Um, you're getting used to it. You know, I've decided something. You did. You did just leave out there with. Yes, I was in Zestlanta, and no, no, uh, Atlanta. Zestlanta. Atlanta. By the time I left, it was Zestlanta. Well, you, we know you and Brick Baby shared the same suite. No, separate rooms. Definitely no. We were across the hall. No, same oh. suite. Nigga, we heard about it, but I'm gonna leave that alone. I heard. Uh, <clears throat> I think I heard him beating off one night. <laughs> what? Oh six oh. Uh, same suite. Uh, huh? Not in the same suite. We're across the hall. Two sweet motherfuckers in the suite. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> no, no. I, I, as his manager, I really feel like he needs to steer clear of the gay stuff. Who's manager? Brick Babies. Not his actual manager, but like, you know, performing some managerial so, duties. I, just because I do it doesn't mean he needs so to do it. So off camera, did him and Woody hug? No. Shake hands? Strictly professional. Huh? It was totally professional. You know, it was funny because... You couldn't wait to bring this up. No. You love it. Let me tell you why it's funny. You're mad you didn't go to Atlanta. You wanted to no. turn it to Zestlanta with thing. me. You wanted to share a suite. Woody DM me today because I've been trolling him. What's Woody saying? Oh. Uh, nice guy, by the way. I liked, it. I liked hanging out with him a lot. When I made the business decision to go interview people, all these dudes had something to say. He didn't interview... Woody, we no, did no, an no, interview no, with Woody. No, 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 Brick Baby was not involved. No, no, Brick Baby did even more. He went and hung out. I love that I'm getting told this by you, even though you weren't there. What do you mean? He wouldn't. People were there. You're basing this on my social media, what no, I chose to put out there. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I haven't looked at your social media. Then what do you know? You saw the clip of him standing against the brick wall with Woody. I don't talk about this it. picture. Somebody said, hey, I'm take a picture, take him. a picture. I'm talking about him hanging out. Y'all out there riding dirt bikes and quads. I rode the, the quad. It don't matter. He was out there. He's with him. He's there. Um, Y'all went to the bowling alley. So Got some burgers. Hold on. Just, just keep it real. Oh, that's real. It's a when, real burger. When, when I sat down and did an interview with 6 9 right? Mm -hmm. Guys like... Brick had a lot to say. Did he? I don't remember that. Yeah. Now he's saying, I don't care about the streets no more. Ah. Uh. Man, I want to know how you guys feel, especially if you're from L.A. How do you feel about Brick Baby going in, meeting up with Lil Woody? Do you feel like, you know, it's his profession now? He's a podcaster, so he has the right to do that? Or if you're a gang member, you're not supposed to be doing that at all. I want to know how you guys feel, because Wack 100 going to get deep into it. Pause. Let's get into it. That's not what he said. That's what he said. No. He definitely said... I don't care about the streets. I don't care what the streets have to say. He said it. No, he didn't. Out of say his it. mouth. He would never say fuck the streets. Bullshit. He abides by the code of the that's, streets, that's if anything. Um, what Brick was doing that afternoon, he came along with us while we we're doing the interview. We're at the studio. He's hanging out. Didn't want to be on camera, even though he probably would have added something to he that left conversation. He LAX knowing he was taking you to Woody. We Facts. were supposed to do a lot of different things there. Woody was only one of them. And then... So why he didn't go back to his room? We spent some time stomping around the city. Went off to Mechanicsville. And Brick stayed nearby. Held me down. Now, I did have my own security. So, not 100% necessary. But, Brick, you know, why would he want to leave 
his close confidant. Hey, bro. Alleged gay lover, if you were to ask someone like yourself. Hey, bro. Personally, I have nothing Listen. to do with that. Um, why, would he, why would he abandon me? Just so. Man, that man Adam Twenty Two be doing a lot of stuff with that zest stuff. Man, that's just too much. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you not like that, why you even play like that? But I guess it's white boy stuff. I don't know, man. Drop it in the comments if you know or if you think that he's that way. I really don't care, but he just do too much to, for me. So what? So that he wouldn't have people like you trying to make a commotion and call him out no. because he stood near Woody in Here's that the photo. point. I've already been living my life in my world. It's been guys like him saying what they wouldn't do. And now mm -hmm. I'm seeing them do the same shit. I ain't, I ain't do all that he doing. But even more, I'm just saying, keep it real with yourself, man. Like, right. You might want to be a little hesitant on the things you say. Because you never know when you're in the same situation. You, you got to make the same decision. You went to Miami to sit down with 6 9 on camera. No. Brick Baby was already in Atlanta no, no, and I he didn't. chose to not no, I didn't. do an interview with Woody. I was in Miami for Rolling Loud already. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Which is something that you do all the time. You yeah, love, I was you, already there with Rolling you Loud. Like going then, to, you get in the mosh pit and um, go get a, a jumbo hot dog. And then I got a. Um, you weird as fuck. I'm just. You don't seem like the average Rolling Loud participant. I'm going to be honest. I had an artist performing. Right. Right. So I was already there. Then I got the call. From, and you just accidentally wandered into the Fresh and Fit studio and did a three-hour podcast with 6 9 No, academics hit me. You know we all there. And that was really funny. And you were actually somewhat confrontational and tried to hold him to the fire, and I haven't really seen a lot of that energy since then. Definitely did. Well, a lot of what energy? The critical, hey, 6 9 here's what I think you did wrong energy. I already did that. The fuck you want me to do every time I see him? That was the first time you we ever had. We had two interviews. So the Miami one was after the Hassan Campbell one. That no, was in New first. York. Miami was first. Okay. Then it was New York. So, so you've done a series of snitch podcasts, but uh, yet you're taking issue with Brick Baby not doing a podcast with Woody, but hanging out in Atlanta around him. Got us. How you guys feel about White 100 doing the interview with 6 9 He's supposed to be Big Pyro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You get what I'm saying? I don't know L.A. politics, but how you guys feeling? If you're a street person or an L.A. person, drop it in the comments. I want to know how everybody feel, though. Let's go. Stop being extra out and just like say, hey, bro, if the opportunity, he, he should have sat there and did the interview with you. Why? He didn't want to. He said he didn't feel comfortable with that. Why not? See, this His is where, ties to YSL. No, this is where he went wrong. He's supposed to do an interview with him and ask him the real questions. But he didn't want to keep it real because he out he he and laughing and guy guying with him. He didn't want to sit down and say, Hey homie, why'd you get up? Why'd you tell them people what you told them back in twenty fifteen? Why did you even begin to even give this information? Right. Mm. He should have you he should have really for real. I did I would have respected it, I would have respected that trip if he had sat down because he's gonna ask or can ask different questions from you in a different way. True, that would have been one option. However, him. if he had sat down with him and asked him those questions out of an hour and a half long interview, that might have been like ten minutes. Everybody, yourself included, would have basically took him sitting down with him as you sat down with a snitch. No, he wouldn't have. I would have based it upon, that, listen, I don't have a problem with a dude from the street sitting down with a snitch. Mm -hmm. As long as he addresses the snitching and, and, and really addresses it in sense. a manner that if a motherfucker get mad, you didn't see me do it a couple times. If he get mad, it is what it is. I asked don't him, pacify. I asked Woody why he told or what that whole scenario was about. It seemed like he was very, very limited in terms of what he can say because of the fact that the case is still going on. And I mean, Woody, is a, Woody is a tricky one because yes, he told. Yes, he sat down with the cops and shared a bunch of information that he definitely shouldn't have. But yeah. since then... You can't unsnitch. Facts. I feel you. But... It feels like the city as a whole is being, you know, somewhat more accommodating to him because of the fact that now 
he's basically making a mockery out of this trial and going up there and basically doing everything that he can to throw a stick in the spokes of the case that's being but presented against him. But he did everything he could, and, a lot, and he's the reason like 10 why. 10 years ago. doesn't matter. I know. I, the I get that. I totally ago. get that. Started 10 years ago. A rat is a rat. A lot of shit he told them people was part of the serious cases and part of the reason why they even arrested this man. Facts. Mm-hmm. And thought they can charge him with this RICO. Mm-hmm. You eliminate the shootings and the killings and the, all the shit. God knows what he told them. Mm-hmm. There's a good chance the case ain't even strong enough to be talked about. To even be put in front of the DA to be put on a docket. I would have to look into that a little bit more. What you mean? To figure out how crucial Woody's testimony was. They said was. thugs case his investigation started 10 years ago mm-hmm. and Woody testified Woody since in like 2015 so that's like nine years ago <laughs> well if it was really 10 years ago then maybe somebody else sparked it off remember he got arrested 20 what 22 2023 what, what is it been a year and saw 18 months what does it make you feel that my time spent with little Woody in the streets of Atlanta he is treated like a goddamn god out there and i'm talking from like the people in his neighborhood to like you know we drive 20 minutes and we go to the bowling alley and i'm seeing like small girls like 10 years Yo. old freaking out like it's well, why would you even mention 10 year old girls like they don't know no better they kids like you're weird man how you guys feel drop it in the comments let's get back to it he never the, made the beatles just walked into the bowling he alley. never made this kind of money being the old guy he was for sure yeah he didn't even have this type of uh notoriety probably didn't even go bowling oh yeah do, i mean he's doing his thing uh i don't give a f- i would i really would have liked to see brick if brick would have sat down and questioned him i would have been defending him mm. but the fact he went out there knowing what he was going out there to do and and he and he and he has a lot to say about when other people does the same thing. I guess this is like some trauma you have stored up. So Brick did say something about you hanging out with six nine. Everybody I don't remember did. that. Everybody did. Yeah, he did. I mean, you know, but I, I told did. everybody what I was doing. He did. Mm. I didn't give a f- academic said, yo, well, I said, bro, drop that shit. They called me ten times. Yo, whack, you sure you want to put it out? The mm. f- we didn't do all that shit for it not to come out. Mm. You know, I never I think I started the era of not caring. Well, Atlanta, really Atlanta, Atlanta has been very influenced by that because holy shit, I didn't, if anyone cares out there, you could could have fooled me. Man, that's about it on that one, man. If you want to see the full interview, you know, go to the No Jumper Clips and you can really tap in and see everything. I want to know how you guys feel about Brick Baby going to meet up with Lil Woody, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like if you're a gang member, gang banger, whatever, you're supposed to stick by codes or whatever. And But it is his job, so it's a wobbler. Y'all want to know how you guys feel? Drop it in the comments. Um... Hey man, this is this is different. You get what I'm saying? But until next time, I'm out.